Hi Year 7 and welcome to a short video that you are watching for your homework which is um, explaining about the language in your Latin textbook. Okay, so what is the point of this? What's the idea? Well, in each chapter or stage of the Cambridge Latin course there is a section called About the Language. This is where new concepts about grammar are explained with examples. So it's a really important section of the textbook because it helps you to understand the grammar of Latin. So your homework, starting with this video, is to watch and read through the notes, sorry, through the explanations um, as I go through it, making notes in your book. Now you might like to watch the video first and then go back and watch it again making notes the second time. It's up to you. So that will mean that you're prepared for the following lesson where we'll be practicing the language in class and it's here in class that you can ask for further clarification if something's not making sense. Um, you could help a friend or you could do an extension task if you finish quickly. Okay, so the first grammar point that we're going to talk about in this section of about the language is to do with the fact that Latin sentences containing the word est often have the same order as English. So thinking about the word est, do you remember what that means? Here are some examples. Metella est mater, which means Metella is the mother. Canis est in via, which means the dog is in the street. So, if you remember, the word est means is. Now, why have I made the word the red in both of the sentences in English? As you might be thinking, that is to remind you that in Latin there is no the in front of a noun you have to put it there in English to create a correct English sentence. It's really important when you're translating Latin into English to put in the word the because it's not there in Latin. Okay, the next point is that in other Latin sentences the order is usually different from that of English as we have seen. Here are the examples. Canis in via dormit which means the dog is sleeping in the street. Servus in culina laborat. The slave is working in the kitchen. Okay, so thinking about the order of the words in the sentence, what is different between the Latin sentence and the English sentence? Well, there is one word which is the verb that comes at the end of the Latin sentence but in the English sentence it's the verb comes straight after the noun so that's different in Latin. The verb comes at the end of the sentence except if the verb is est which was the previous slide. And finally the third thing that you need to remember about these sentences is that to note that dormit and laborat in the previous sentences can be translated in another way. So the sentence servus in culina laborat, now the verb laborat can be translated as works, so the slave works in the kitchen or the slave is working in the kitchen. And if you come across this you need to look at the context of the word and that will help you decide which one um, sounds the best. They're both right but one will sound better than the other. Okay now watch the video again and take notes in your Latin exercise book. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in class.